understand they're not conservatives, they don't trust the conservatives, they don't want anything to do with the conservatives, but they have an opportunity because there's three, as I said, there's three votes. The second one is the constituency vote, where you vote for your individual constituency member, like Peter Fortune, who we all know, on the London Assembly. But you also then have what they call the top-up list. And the top-up list is meant to be London-wide. And on that one, you vote for party. So if you want to, you can vote for reform on that list. And you can, and if enough people vote reform, Howard Cox will get a seat on the London Assembly. And for those that really want to see Howard elected to something. This is far better for them than it is is not having him at all. If that's what they want, I would obviously urge people to vote for the Conservatives. It's conservative, but that's I'm saying there is a way out for people to do it. So, and if Howard Cox is elected to, to 